Hex price is up 1200X or hit 1200X without staking. That's hex.com. And it hit like 1600X or more 2400X with staking. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome for a year and a half. Hello and welcome back to freedomtv.info where we talk about your crypto and freedom from the man. So uh, today is uh, May 16th and uh, we're going to talk about an update about the hex, the pulse chain and what's to expect with the sacrifice phase. Uh, on day number 532 on uh, the hex uh, project, hex is uh, around five and a half cents right now. It's doing really well. It's uh, it, it did a, a hard pump here. Um, our uh, market cap is thirty one billion dollars still. Our trading volume, our our twenty four hour trading volume, is at twenty three million dollars. We're still uh, you know, we, we got these uh, good uh, price changes. So hit an all time high last week. So that's it's doing really really good. A lot of people are coming in and buying into uh, hex more because they're they're preparing for the sacrifice phase that is coming out in a couple of days uh, according to Richard Hart which is the developer of hex well, on to the other uh, statistics uh, there's about 9.7% uh, that's still staked on the on the ethereum hex uh, side uh, you know this is where the we're going to be counting uh, how much sacrifice of hex is going to be sacrificed and of course uh, this here is what stake so far, you can see our the the charts here. Uh, the T share has been really going up. We're right now around nine hundred and ten dollars per T share right now. Uh, remember that because that we're going to talk about that a little bit on what to do. The hex price has gone up. You know, here here's the big. Uh, it went parabolic right here. You know, from a three cent on a one cent low, and then it just start pumping, pumping, pumping. Now it's retracing back down to. And landing on on this uh, five cent mark. So our prediction here is it's going to pretty much stay here and stabilize around five cents. Uh, but you're going to see a lot more volatility because people are buying into and unstaking and preparing for the sacrifice phase. Our uh, payout per T share rate five point seven hex per T share, and it's very consistent. Those that have uh, staking ladders, that's a really good news. Uh, here's uh, Richard Hart's, uh, what he was talking about, the sacrifice phase, and explain it from his own words. Elevated by the bots at the start of the project. So the way that the, the sacrifice set, so basically Pulse is being created, it's going to exist, and it's going to be given for free to people. It's going to be given for free to people that hold Ethereum. It's going to be free uh, ERC-20s for everybody. And it's going to be given for free to the sacrifice set. The sacrifice set, however, is going to get 10,000 times more than the Ethereum guys. And the ERC-20 guys are not really getting pulse. They're, they're just getting their ERC-20 forks. So now the pulse itself, currently, the game theory is you want to reward people for getting an earlier but not so much that people are front running other people. So the first three or seven days, everyone's going to get the same time value. And then after that, time value is going to run up 4% a day. And then on the volume side, the people that give more, get more. The people that give less, get less. That's the basic overriding themes. So, and that's just like with the real world, right? You get in earlier, you get a better deal. But not so much that, you know, oh, you got a better deal because you're in a second before someone else knows. You know, the, the first three or seven days, everyone's going to get the same time value. After that, 4% per day. Linear. It's not going to, like, tick. Um, it's just going to constantly process. It's not going to, like, wait and then ratchet on a day. It's a continuous function. And the volume is rather the same except it will also, it's going to process at the end of the phase, right? So if the whole thing is like three to seven days in the beginning, same time value, 30 days after those 30 days, they have the time value. And then the whole set of 33 to 37 days is going to have the, you know, bonuses or reordering by volume. So the guys that give the most get the most because that's how everything Let's is. Let's look at this, uh, what we're doing. 
So this is our strategy. So what are we doing here at freedomtv.info? Well, again, this is for uh, educational purposes only. This is what we're doing. You can follow us. You can have your own strategy. Please look into, educate yourself, watch Richard Hart's uh, videos to understand a little bit more. Uh, go to pulsechain.com for information as it comes out. Uh, step one is where it's the priest. So this is right now we're in the priest phase, sacrifice phase, which is today, March, May 16th through until it starts, which is in about a couple, he said it is about a couple of days from today. So we are buying hex and keeping it liquid on our MetaMask. Okay. Why that? Because that we need that liquidity so we can go ahead and transfer right away in the first seven days. As he was saying, the first seven days is the best time. And then every time, every day after that, it's going to be where you get less bonuses. So early is good. You know, later is bad. Now, you can sacrifice your hex. You can sacrifice other ERC tokens. You can sacrifice your Bitcoin. Uh, so uh, once sacrifice phase opens, which is on the pulsechain.com, you'll, you'll see that the list, everything, how it's explained, you'll see what it's going on and that's where you're gonna get your information. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice our liquid hex. There'll be a list of, of coins, like I said, that you can use on sacrifice on pulsechain.com. Also the addresses for each type of token. So on step three is fork of Ethereum into pulse. So after sacrifice phase, the ERC20 token doubles, ETH, HEX, HEX, HEX stakes, and ERC20 to tokens. I'll explain that a little bit more. Also, there's going to, around the same time, he said after the 33rd day or 37th day of, of uh, in other words, the sacrifice phase is going to uh, close. And about two, three days after that, maybe at the most a week, seven days, and then there's going to be an airdrop for Pulse coin on your MetaMask wallet or your, your ERC-20 uh, wallet that you used when, when you used to sacrifice. Because we're, we're going to be holding or hodling our Pulse coin for a long term because we believe that project's going to be great. It's going to go good. A lot of more, more projects are going to get onboarded. You know, Pulse and Hex has nothing to do with each other. Pulse is a whole different project. Hex is a, it's already a project that's been finished and it's been fulfilled. Okay. So, what does that mean? So same thing. Here's the sacrifice phase right here. Okay. And you get in right now. And then once the Pulse chain starts, that's when you double your bag. On the Ethereum network, you're going to have your, your bag. And then you're going to have a bag of Pulse and a copy of your Ethereum. and uh, well, the Ethereum is going to be called Pulse now. And then, of course, your hex is going to be uh, P-hex or Pulse hex. And you're going to have other ERC tokens. Whatever you have in your MetaMask or ERC20 token wallet is going to duplicate. So what does that mean? So all the stakes that you had in hex are going to be copied onto the Pulse network. So this is two separate networks. You're going to have the, the Ethereum network and the Pulse network. You're going to have your Ethereum net bag. You're going to have your Pulse net bag. So you, like if you had in your bag uh, one Ethereum and 2,000 hex liquid, plus your staked, you know, 5,000 coins or whatever coins you have staked here, those are going to duplicate on the Pulse chain. And then also your meta, on, on your MetaMask, they're going to be, you know, your ETH is going to be converted into Pulse. Your hex if you sacrifice 1000 that's going to be burned so that's not coming back to you anymore so because you're 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 wanting pulse an extra pulse so hex is going to be p hex your one th so 1000 goes to the sacrifice phase if you choose to you don't have to and then of course the what's the remaining in liquid in your hex gets into p hex so after the sacrifice phase you'll be airdropped 10,000 X of the Ethereum amount of what you did. So, you know, depending on what Ethereum is valued at. So let me remind you, the hex coin and the P hex coin 
it's going to have two separate values, not going to have the same value. Also, pulse is going to have a separate value, depending on how many people come into the sacrifice pool. These are the, all the unknowns. So don't ask us about what's the, the prize. We don't know. We're going to get into the sacrifice with our own Ethereum hex, continue short-term ladders on the pulse because of low gas fees, continue long-term ladders on Ethereum hex and pulse. So, cause we want those T-shares. Now recommendations. This is for education purpose. Again, only you decide what to do. If you are new to Hex, if you have more than $1,000 to invest, then Rick, we recommend to stake it on the Ethereum Hex to get at least one T-share to stake long-term and buy extra liquid for a sacrifice phase. So you're gonna need about more than $1,000. So you wanna stake on, your, on the Hex chain so you can, that can double up. And then also you have go into the sacrifice phase and then also keep some liquid in your, here in the hex. Uh, if you have less than a thousand dollars in, in hex, then buy, buy hex now, just keep it liquid into your, in your bag. Okay. And use to, for the new, you can choose to do the sacrifice phase or just keep it there. If you believe in the pulse and you don't want to get new pulse, just keep it at hex and you'll get P hex and then you'll get, at least you'll double your bag. So that's our recommendation. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Those are the updates we have. Definitely do your own due diligence, stay hard and be well and keep your freedom. Be on the flip side.